God and God said of David, he was a sweet psalmist. You're going to be a sweet psalmist. You're going to be Moses. And you're going to say, let my people go. Let my people go. Deliverance. God's going to give you Joseph, going to give you dreams and visions. And he's going to give you strategies to save a land from famine. Daniel, you're going to stand before the president, the governor. He's going to give you wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So I'm teaching the Bible stories, but I'm prophesying and I'm unlocking futures and destinies for these children. And they're, are they too young to get this? No. Too young? No. Forbid the children? No. no. Suffer them. Prophesy to them. Preach to them. Give them word of wisdom, word of knowledge. Oh, uh, she's sick today. Gather around. Let's pray for her. No, I'm not praying. You pray. You can lay hands on the sick and they recover. Suddenly, during the day, she gets better. Look, you guys remember praying for her? This is kindergarten. You know? Did you remember praying for her? Yeah, she got better. They go home, Mommy, are you feeling sick? I am. Then what do they do? Pray for their parents. They lay hands, Mommy gets better. They come back to school. Like Frank said, we were teaching Bible, he goes, God told me my prayer was magnificent. <laughs> well, that's great, Frank. Keep praying. Keep praying. Let's pray for pride. No, no, no. Uh, well, I have a I had a parent teacher conference with 